Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For Vlogmas Day 7, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I did post this video already, but it was getting striked for copyright reasons. So I'm just going to do a voiceover. This is my basic routine. I am not a makeup artist, but I told myself in 2023, I was going to learn how to do my makeup really well. So that when I have to go to an event or an outing, I can do my makeup myself. I don't have to pay anybody. I don't know about y'all, but these services are getting outrageous with their prices and their rules. And I'm a rebel. I don't want to deal with it. So I already know how to do my own hair. So I decided that it was a good idea to learn how to do my makeup. Right here, I am color correcting under my eyes. I have really dark under eyes. It's kind of been an insecurity of mine my whole life. Uh, but then I kind of grew up and I started noticing more and more beautiful women who have dark under eyes. And I realized that it shouldn't be such an insecurity. So now I just embrace my under eyes. It is what it is and I can't do anything about it. But working on my skincare and using like vitamin C serum and hydrolyronic acid serum, that really helps my skin and just brings it back to life. Here I'm going in with my ColourPop. This is uh, what I use to contour with. I first bought this this year and this is my first time like using this product and I actually really like it. It's really inexpensive. I got it from Target and I think that it adheres really well and it stays in place. Because I have dark under eyes, it's really important to me to find a good concealer so that it doesn't move or crease throughout the day. Another thing that helps stop from creasing is that primer. I love Milk Primer. I had bought the travel size container and I'm 100% going to buy the full bottle. Like most girls who are into YouTube and content creation, I get a lot of my makeup tips from Jackie Ayana. She literally knows so many things I just went back and watched some of her old YouTube videos and it really helped me get better at crafting my makeup I haven't been able to find a good contour shade so I have these two shades um and I just mix them together to make this dark brown and I use that as my contour I am looking for something that I can just use for contour. I see a lot of girls, they use like the contour sticks instead of liquid um, contour. And I'm probably going to try that. I just have to do some more research and find which one is best for me. I'll probably take a trip to Sephora because they're really good at helping matching your color and things like that. Here I go with that milk setting spray when I tell y'all using setting spray throughout the makeup process not just in the beginning and at the end like you have to use it in the middle when you let in your foundation or your contour set spray it on when I tell you it's going to hold so much better this was a really good tip that I got from the one and only Jackie Ayana when I was in high school, I would spend hours in my room just playing in makeup, trying different lip combos, trying different eyeshadow combos. I really do miss the era where it was the ombre lips. Like now, the girlies are stuck on the dark liner with the gloss or the nude in the middle, which I think is a very classy look. I love it. But I also love me some color. Growing up, my favorite lip shade was Heron. 
by MAC. I actually still have it and I still wear it, just not as often as I did in high school. But you know, when you're in high school, you're more bolder, you're ready to try more things. And I will wear that lipstick every day to school. Any chance that I got, I will wear that lipstick. This bronzing palette, I really like it because I'm able to go over my contour with the bronzer and I also use the lighter colors on my eyelids to just make my eyes pop a little bit because I have the dark under eyes and I also have pretty long lashes so the shadow from my lashes also hits underneath my eyes which makes it appear even darker so i like to lighten up around my eyes just to combat the darkness that i have now i am not the greatest at makeup but i am so glad that i at least learned how to do this simple beat for occasions honestly the best thing to do if you're trying to focus on learning how to do your makeup is focusing on skincare. It is important to have a really clean base. And if you do, your makeup is going to come out flawless every time. Another thing you want to focus on is blending. Girl, blend to the gods. You can never blend too much. One of the hacks I've been using is this lipstick as a blush and honestly I wasn't really feeling the blush and it just kind of grew on me I like the subtleness and then I also like to put the highlighter too I think that combo is really nice another big reason why I decided to learn how to do my own makeup is because a lot of these services that are supposed to be pampering services like getting your hair done, getting your nails done, lash services, they do not be pampering. They are stressful. They have a bunch of rules and I can figure it out on my own. But look how this beat came out. It came out so cute. This is probably one of the best beats that I've done this year. I just keep practicing and I'm getting better and better with practice. She is that girl. You couldn't tell her nothing, okay? I was really feeling myself. Thanks for spending Vlogmas with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. That's me bills, bitch. And so much shit. Oh my God. <laughs>